everyone, my name is Rick Edwards and I am the mayor of the city of Buchanan. It's a pleasure for me today to be out here with all of our barbecuers and all of the great grilling that's going on in downtown Buchanan. I tell you, um, this is our inaugural event here in Buchanan and it is the first for the uh, West Virginia State Championship. We're very proud of the fact that we had so many volunteers and workers, particularly Jody Light and uh, Mary Dean, with our local Rotary, who's also using the funds uh, for their polio project uh, for their local organization here. So here in Buchanan, we've been working about four months for logistics on actually doing this sort of a barbecue event. Started out with a very few uh, groups at first that we knew of, maybe about 2025, which now has grown to uh, 42, I believe we have here this evening. As you can tell around, um, we had to find particular spaces for everyone. We had to make sure that there was water and electricity available. So there was a lot of logistics between the city and the organization that was able to make this happen. We couldn't do any of this without the volunteers as well. Behind the scenes that you may not see, uh, some of our city departments that will be doing the trash removal and pickup. Uh, there's a lot of effort that went into this program this year, and we are so looking forward to making it the smoothest, hopefully, and the best competition the state of West Virginia has ever had. And if that's the case, then this won't be just the inaugural. We'll have an annual event, which I, I really look forward to us doing every year. I am a barbecue fanatic, and I've seen some of our rigs, and this food is really smelling good. So my mouth is watering. I just wanted to say thank you. I wanted to thank all of our competitors who are here with us this weekend and all of our volunteers and everyone that's had any part to play in this fantastic uh, uh, program and this uh, fantastic event. So thank you very much, and uh, I'll sign off now. My name is Michael Fay. I'm the president of the Middle Atlantic Barbecue Association, and I'm also with a pork loaf now competitive barbecue team. As Jody is fond of saying, we were the 2014 Team of the Year, and we've won a number of other awards. So hopefully the food will be acceptable, and I won't see anybody out in the gutter. <laughs> if, if there is, you know, just let me know. Um, we've got uh, competition ribs for you. We've got competition pulled pork. We've got peach pimento baked beans and competition brisket. Right? And we're going to do a whole dog and pony show here. So, so this is a, this is actually a whole brisket that we've cooked, and this is the way they come out. The brisket, for those that don't know, the brisket is the front part of the cow, it's, it's actually the pectoral muscle, and there's actually two muscles that sit. There's a front muscle and a back muscle, and they sit like this. So this, this is what they call the flat, it's the larger muscle, it's got a, it's a little bit more lean, and then the top is called the point, and that's where you'll see what they call burn ends come from. So what we're going to do is we're going to take and we're going to break this brisket down. We're going to take the point off, just like that. And here is the good juicy parts. We're going to take all this little bit of fat. This fat protects it while we're cooking it. Make sure that it doesn't get dry. Take all that off. So this is what we're going to end up with, is this nice flat piece, and as a competitor, we're going to turn in these nice slices of, of brisket for the judges to enjoy. We may leave a little fat on them, we may not, it just depends, but if anybody wants to come up and see this, that's, that's fine. So we're going to take, there's a little piece here called the knuckle, that's just the piece of the test. We'll take that and we'll slice that up in little pieces. I need a volunteer. Oh, there's my hand. Volunteer. There you go. Thank you, thank you. Woo, woo, woo. Look good. This is what we're going to end up with. Is we're going to end up with a flat muscle. It's about that big. Okay. <laughs> and then we're going to end up with a point muscle. And this is also, if you go to a deli up in New York, New York City, um, or any place, and you ask for fatty brisket, this is the piece you're going to get. You're going to get the point. It's a little fattier, it's considered a little juicier by some people. They're both very, very good. So, what we're going to do is we're going to Bring everybody up, and when they get their plate, we're going to slice it, and we're going to 
we're going to give you a little piece of flat and a little piece of point, and then there's, there's ribs and pork. Um, we're, we're a little bit limited, so we're going to give you one rib, and then we're going to give you pork, and we're pretty much ready to go. So this is our, our fatty bits, and you try the one, try the other one. Difference. Then we're going to take the, our brisket, cut it in half, and then we're going to slice it down. These are slices of the brisket. The way, the way that judges the competition will test the brisket is they will take a slice of that brisket, they'll hold it up, they'll see how flexible it is, and then they'll gently pull it apart. Very gently and pop across. Okay, who's on? Thank you. Just so you know, I want to thank Rusty and Julie Cook. They are our Kansas City Barbecue uh, reps who are in charge of this event. They came from Atlanta. And this gentleman, what he didn't tell you is when I asked him to cook the food, he donated all the food. So, hey. Kind of line me up middle wise. I dropped it. That's my fault. No, you're fine. Shit. I lost control of them though. We can always touch it. We can always. Alright. Just get them in the box. Now we can clean up. No, we can't clean up. We got time. chicken this morning the number one sample uh, was the best I've tasted all year you'll notice that it's gone this, this is sample number one you'll notice that it's gone this was not covered with a heavy tomato sauce number three was also very good um, number five was a little too spicy for me but other than that this was great chicken and this one didn't show as well as, as normal chicken shows when it shreds like that it tends to get dry all in all very good day for chicken I liked number one the way it shows because it didn't have a lot of sauce on it, uh, but I didn't think it had quite as much spice as I like. Number two uh, showed very well, but didn't have as much spice as I like. I liked number three and number five uh, for the reason that they had uh, good sauces, although very different. Um, I don't mind seeing chopped chicken uh, number four in the box, uh, but I didn't think it had enough spice when I tasted it, and that's it. Number one was uh, was probably my favorite, and number um, four was my least favorite. Uh, three was was very good. Uh, five uh, to me wasn't as tender as uh, as the rest of them. I had some very good chicken today. The best uh, entry. Um, that I, I feel is best was the number five entry. It had the nice texture that you are looking for per KCBS guidelines. It also had good flavor. The uh, number one um, didn't have the sauce, but it was very nice. It had good taste, it had good texture. Number two had um, a good taste and a 
good texture, nice sauce. Number three had one of the better tastes. Uh, had nice uh, sauce, uh, had good taste. Number four, <coughs> the presentation was a big stack, kind of all together. It was uh, meshy, mushy, and a wet feel to it. So it got bad marks. Uh, number five was had um, a little bit strong on um, spices, so a little bit too much spices for me. So. It wasn't the winner for so number three was the winner winner for me. My favorite was number five, although it was definitely a little out of balance with cayenne. Um, number four was my least favorite. Um, it it was uh, mushy. It did not appear. It it didn't have a great appearance. Um, number three. Uh, to me, it was my second least favorite. It, my piece was very salty and the breast meat was very dry. Um, but uh, all in all, not too bad. I didn't sauce between the ribs. That's I think that's a big deal. I know. Let's see if they fit. Now you're saying right up here, drop them in. Put your finger on the other side of these so they have um, somebody over. He can. can. Yeah. And then I'm going to pull that way. There you go. Now flip the other ones around and or put your meat. Yeah, put your meat in this way. Like this. And your bone end up. That way you've got depth. Just like that. I like number three because it had good flavor and it was cooked properly and I didn't the Number five was my least favorite because it didn't have any flavor and it had too much smoke. I agree. Number three was probably one of the best on the plate. It had a nice look to it and presentation. Uh, the, the sauce was very flavorful. There was no hard tug on it at all. Very good rib. Number four was also in that same category, an excellent rib. Probably the least favorite is number five. It was to the point where it was not edible, way overcooked, way over smoked, and just bad. I like rib number two. I thought it had a nice bite and nice flavor. And as the other two judges mentioned, number five was unedible and was burnt and uh, just wasn't good. Between number two and three, which one's the best one? But one, four, and five are way overcooked. Number four, the sauce was overpowering and couldn't even taste the meat. And number five is it is just a total disaster. Uh, number three was the best. Uh, great flavor, uh, taste, texture. Um, and the worst was number five. It was inedible. Well, I think I'm going to make it unanimous. Number three was the best, and number five was by far the worst. But I'm putting it in. It's going right here. Now, don't watch. They're, they're kind of soft, so. I'm taking that off. Look at it to this side, you'll probably see what I mean by it. Yeah.
open. How's that? Better. Too much. It's fine. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to put this as up here and push it down. favorite was one um, this number three and it was very tasty very tender it pulled easily um, it had a very good flavorful sauce on it uh, my least favorite I think was number two sample uh, it was very dry had no flavor to it at all just dry well my favorite was also number three I thought it was uh, the, the two cuts that were presented were artfully done. They looked nice in the box and they had the proper amount of sauce on them and they, they didn't disappoint when you tasted them. They had a, a good flavor and um, properly cooked. Plenty of juice in them. They weren't dry. Uh, my least favorite was number five. Uh, I just thought it, it started out not too good and ended the same way. It uh, was not well presented in the box and um, had a lot of burnt, a lot of carbon in it. My favorite was also number three, and for the same reason everybody else said, juicy, very tender, good flavor. My least was number five, and it tastes just what it looked like, <laughs> and it didn't look like much. My favorite was number three. It was tender, uh, even though it was on the sweet side. I like that. Uh, my least favorite was number five, two, four, and one. Um, um, my favorite was actually number four. Um, I thought it was um, had a nice smoke taste to it, had a little bit of heat to it, and it was a little bit chewy, not mushy or overcooked. Um, number five was my uh, least favorite, and uh, look at the picture, enough said. I'm going for number three as well. Uh, number two was also very good. Uh, I liked four. And uh, number one and number five was my least favorite. Number five actually had bits of gristle and chunks of fat. Uh, I spent more time, it's almost like eating seedy grapes. So what am I doing laying it? Uh, and she'll help you too, it's gonna start at the top. I'm not, I'm not a good box. Place or a brisket. Yeah, I'm trying to hand it to you the same way, but you see the cut side over there, you know, and then overlap. We're going to get eight pieces in here. So you can overlap, try to keep the same spacing you'll, you'll, between like the. Yeah, I think you the, I, just just layer we can adjust. There you go. Let's get them in the box and we can adjust. Is that eight? Eight. 
One more. Put it in there. It's this little thing here. So the first entry, the slice on mine was at least a quarter of fat. And the burnt end had no flavor and was very dry. The second entry, again, extremely dry. The burnt end had no meat and was basically just a piece of burnt end. Um, the third entry uh, was uneven. Uh, the sauce was just scattered about it. It was almost like it was driven on and not really placed. Um, and it was kind of just thrown in a box. The fourth entry was actually too big for the box and uh, again, unevenly sauced. For me, the fifth entry, it looked very nice in a box. It was cut even. The burn ends looked very good. Uh, unfortunately, though, the flavor just wasn't there. Well, the first entry was very, as you could see, fat and dry. All of it was very dry. The whole entry, uh, number five, was it was beautiful simply because it was up against some bad looking brisket. But number five, when I tasted number five, it was pure salt. So today was not a good day for brisket. Um, overall, I'll just give you my results, the, what I liked best and what I liked uh, least. The best one I liked was number five. I thought it was good. It was a tad overcooked. And the uh, least was number three. Um, just to taste like it had steak sauce on it. For me, I liked I liked number four and five, and um, for the simple fact that they probably I, I could understand what the cook were probably trying to do, but but it didn't come across too well. But right now, four and five is my best. Um, my least is number three. Number three was just too small. My favorite was number five. I um, thought the presentation was very nice. All the slices were nice and even. The um, taste was really good. Um, good flavor of beef with that, although it was just a little um, overcooked. My least favorite was number three. Um, the box was very messy, um, sloppy, unorganized, and the meat was tough. The taste tasted like um, just maybe commercial barbecue sauce. And my favorite was between number four and number five. Number five had the better presentation. It was an excellent looking box. Number four, uh, the pieces were a little bit too big for the box. So it wasn't as good a presentation. And number five actually became my favorite because it had the, the best beef flavor and the burnt end and that was excellent. My least favorite was between number two and number three. Number three was a sloppy box. And again, the sauce on that tasted like a commercial uh, barbecue sauce you buy at any grocery store and number two it was definitely undercooked and it was very tough and difficult to pull apart and to chew.